Turkish Airlines to Antalya. We're in Istanbul now. The short connection begins to get to our pl flights to Antalya. I'm not sure, we're not quite sure where it is at all. Okay, found some signs, figured out which way we need to go. Let's just hope we can make it to our flight. No, no idea which gate it is as well, so. One thing I forgot to mention is that on the IFE, there's meant to be some connecting gate information for people making a connection to Istanbul, and it's meant to turn up half an hour before landing. This was not the case, could be checked it just before landing, and there's absolutely nothing there, leaving us with no idea where to go when we disembark the plane. We could be walking all over the airport and not figure out where this flight is. Gate G4, as it says on there, and I'm pretty sure our plane is just over there. So now we just have to wait. Good afternoon. Hello. Wait for the camera if you want. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it is not uh, possible because you cannot do that. Okay, like that. No. Yeah. No. For us, you can. Oh, you can back here. Yeah. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, 12, 13? 12 or 13? Okay. Come on in. Okay, we'll do the. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jean from also baguettes with Turkish tea. Let's dig in, shall we? Much like the international flight, which if you haven't seen yet, is in part one, go check that out. By the time the seatbelt signs come off, somewhere near cruise altitude, the aisles are congested with trolleys serving you your snacks. It's a much shorter flight, so by the time they've cleaned up the rubbish, the seatbelt signs are back on for descent. Since this is a shorter flight, it's a little bit better, you're not sat around for three hours trying to wait for the loop. You might have noticed there's no IFE review for this flight, and that's because all of the content was in Turkish, so it wasn't very useful for us. But it doesn't matter because you don't get earplugs in this flight anyway. The earplugs you do get in the international flight, which I did mention in part one, uh, is a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes you don't get them, sometimes they're broken, and sometimes only one earpiece actually works. So, like I said, it's a little bit hit and miss and not a great experience. Transport's here, uh, left Antalya Airport now. Time to head over to Makana's, our hotel, for this two week Turkey trip. Here are some features on the uh, car got some LED lighting, we've got TV, uh, massage. I'm not sure how to put these are, but these are something, obviously. Happy. Well, that's window, uh, leg rest, and ADs. And she can't stop fidgeting with it. Yeah. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome. 